I really don't know what got me excited about exploration um, because uh, I think this is the first thing I thought about and if I trust my mom she said this is the first thing I said <laughs> uh, but to uh, really uh, put an event on that I would say that I was uh, two and a half three years old when um, Armstrong set foot on the moon and uh, and we were the two of us sitting on the couch she kept me awake just to look at that, three o'clock, you know, morning in France, early morning. And uh, I still can remember the ghostly appearance of Armstrong, you know, going down the ladder. And that day I knew I wanted to do something like that. It just probably put uh, some kind of physical appearance, you know, on what I wanted to do, but I always knew it was going to be about space, about exploration. I'd like to see, uh, you know, here it is, is my point of view, is that we are born explorers by the fact that we are a species who had to explore to survive, and that is embedded in our genes. We come from a place where, you know, although we don't know exactly uh, the beginning of life, we know that as soon as we have traces of life, it knew somehow, well, it didn't know, but this is the way it worked out, that if you don't diversify your environment, if as a little bacteria you don't jump to the next rock, if you don't give yourself the best chance to survive, staying put means death. And it is true physically, it is true spiritually, and it's true intellectually. We are at this juncture in time where times are difficult. And because it's uh, human nature to do that, we tend to fall back into our position. And uh, we tend to stay put. And we are reducing our horizon. Whereas, at such a time, it is so important to expand your horizon, to give yourself the best chance to survive. And that means diversifying, you know, the places where you can go, the places you can explore. and. And yes, the money is tight, but the money cannot be as tight as those people who left Europe 500 years ago with nothing behind left for them and really nothing they knew about in front of them. They just put themselves in a boat, crossed the Atlantic, and came to that place we call America today. For God's sake, where is that spirit go? Where did it go? Where is this nation going, thinking that it can fall back into its position, wait and reduce budgets and reduce visions and reduce everything? This is not the way of America. And this is not our way. We need to explore. We need to broaden our vision. And, you know, America is leading the modern world. It has to show that it still can do that. And it's not by cutting education or cutting science or cutting research. Everything that makes this country the leader internationally, a respected leader, where is this America gone? Give it back to me.